Um, oh, so this is a headline that really sort of got my attention. Um, it's about face coverings and which ones are the most effective and the least effective. And so there's this new sort of face covering that has come out called a, a neck gaiter. People have probably seen it. It's kind of like a piece of fabric that goes around your neck typically, but then you can like pull it up over your chin and your mouth and your nose. And people have been using that as masks. But now we have a new study indicating that um, not only may they be not effective, they may be worse than yeah. not effective. What do we know? Right. They may be worse uh, or the same as not wearing a mask at all. Yeah, this is an interesting study that uh, spoke to a very easy way to look at uh, droplet transmission and mask efficacy, efficacy um, effectively. And what they found was exactly what you're saying. You know, on one end of the spectrum, we have obviously the N95 masks that are meant to be PPE, surgical masks. And then at the other end is the uh, no mask. And along with that, in that area are these kind of fleece gaiters that a skier would wear, for example, and those bandanas that sort of hang loose and don't properly cover along the chin. So uh, it's important that we start looking at the efficacy of masks as people go back to school uh, and there's you know, mask mandates, at least at some schools, because you do want to see what's going to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. So uh, more like cloth masks, and they said, you know, poly cotton masks are things to look at mm. uh, with the proper ear loops rather than gaiters and bandanas. Doctor, did the study have an explanation as to why the gaiters didn't work as well? Bandanas, I can understand because they are loose at the bottom. So, of course, there's all this, you know, the air and droplets coming out of the bottom for a bandana. But the gaiters seem like they should be secure. I think a lot of it has to do with the fabric that we're seeing most gaiters that are made out of. Um, mm. Along in that spectrum, in that end of the spectrum that was not effective were knit masks. So it has something to do with um, how they're made. Um, and certainly, you know, it's important to look at individual products. You know, potentially there are gaiters that have, uh, but there is this something about the looseness of the way it hangs on the body too that may uh, affect do droplet transmission.